match, this match, uh, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes. Sure. People are calling it legendary. It was um, amazing. Amazing. Listen, I know you're you're close. Um, you have been a mentor to him. How proud of, uh, were you of, of his performance? To the point where I could cry. <laughs> and no, no. I mean, I met him since he was 12 years old, you yeah. know? And then at some point, I just became, we, I did it in the beginning because of Dusty, because what Dusty did for me. Yeah. But at, by the time he was 15, I was doing it for him. Yeah. I watched him win both the state championships, flew back from LA yeah. to watch him go 37, 47 and 0, and then the next year to beat the guy in the finals, who the only guy to beat him, and he ate him alive. So I've been a part of his life for a long time and super proud of him, man. You know, how, how proud would, would, uh, would, would Dusty Oh, my God. Dusty's still walking off the clouds. And you know what? He don't care that he didn't win at WrestleMania because he knows eventually it's going to happen. It feels like it's, it, you know, right? it's going to happen. Yeah. And it's because now the fans, I mean, one of the things that happens in wrestling where, you know, sometimes the, the person will get pushed to the people, pushed to the people. Now they're pushing the people because they want to see it. Right. You know what, right. though? It's going to take time. Roman Reigns is one of the greatest champions of all time. Yeah, I mean, he really is. I mean, yeah. and on top of being one of the most handsome guys alive, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's got it all, the look, the size, the rap, the bloodline. The whole thing is so strong. And, you know, just being able to go, come in, do that, tear your pack, yeah. come back in three months early Crazy. and go out there and have that match out there and, his interviewing skills are as good as Dusty's. They're completely different, yeah. but they're as good as, 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 as the dream was about putting asses in the seats and getting people to believe in him. Man, this game, he just started to hit the apex, and he is going to keep going. Are you shocked that they didn't give him the win? And, like, you know, with Bloodline interfering, a lot of people felt like it was... Uh... You know, it was, it was a, 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 I never, it was when you're really over, I'll give you a great example. Stone Cold Steve Austin lost to Bret Hart on a bleed out. It got him more over than ever. Seth Rollins lost to Cody three times in a row. He's bigger and stronger than ever. Right, right. When it's done right, when the people are behind it, it doesn't matter who wins or loses. I feel you. You know, you. That, that first world champ, that, excuse me, that first here, universal, okay. what the hell is it called? Universal, I know Mitch has got to think of this, man. <laughs> the, beauty, the first undisputed universal championship title yeah. is going to be around his waist. But it's going to take more time. Yeah. And you know who's going to really push it over the top? the fans. They did not believe in me at all back when I was wrestling. They showed this, the fans though, and there was yeah. you know, a thousand yeah. people, then five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand. They couldn't deny it. Yeah. That's what's happened with Cody. He, came, he left, he went and made AEW, came back to here, and friggin' they were so happy to have him back. Because yeah. they knew what a talent he was, and I'll tell you, I couldn't be any prouder of the cat. You know, it's I love uh, it. I love it. Very emotional for I me. I love it, man.